This weekend saw two clear lines of criticism levelled against the government. The first came from Shadow Health Secretary Jonathan Ashworth, who called on the government to do more to stop employers of non-essential workers forcing their employees to turn up at the workplace. He called for the government to publish clear and unambiguous instructions for such companies to stop the practice. The second line of criticism says that the government needs to do more to test frontline and healthcare workers for the coronavirus. In response to this criticism, however, the government has published a new partnership with the private sector to boost testing capacity. Three new hubs will be set up, which will initially only be testing around 800 people, but testing will be ramped up uh, in the days and the weeks ahead. Despite expectations from last week, however, the new testing systems will not be available for purchase for general use, at least in the initial period. Meanwhile, the Business Secretary Alok Sharma has announced that administrative and other burdens in the provision of personal protective equipment for the NHS and other frontline staff workers will be reduced. He's asked the Health and Safety Executive to relax regulation around the manufacture and production of such equipment to ensure that a flow remains stable. HMRC have also announced that manufacturers and producers of hand sanitizer will have their applications for denatured alcohol fast-tracked. Despite Parliament being on recess, the Digital Culture, Media and Sport Committee will tomorrow take evidence from the charity sector regarding how the coronavirus is impacting them.